Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So having a look at the US 30 there, uh, we managed to push on that a little bit higher with 17,561 be the next potential resistance. Um, yuan currency fluctuations have kind of stabilized and really good data coming out of the US on Wednesday and on Friday. Uh, PPI was better than expected as well, adding more credence to the prospect of a September rate hike. It seems to flip flop one, one day it rate hikes off, next day rate hikes on. Um, Chinese stabilization is uh, is fine. Uh, and saying that, Chinese stocks have actually come off a little bit today, but the currency has been okay. We've seen massive devaluation in uh, Indonesia and um, Malaysia and some of those other countries with their currencies as well. Not that it really has a massive impact on us. Um, but we, I guess the prospect of if the Fed is going to raise rates, you're going to see more capital inflows into the US as people start buying more US equities because they're then a bit more attractive because then you get the capital growth and you get the currency growth as well. So we are probably going to be, begin to see a little bit of a move to the to, to the upside there um, if the interest rates uh, kind of decision does continue to go in favour of September. Um, but then you have the knock-on effect that higher rates can sometimes have on corporate earnings when they're earning money outside of the US and have to repatriate that money back. So. It could be quite an interesting time for the, uh, for the global economic markets, but it looks to be that September is still on, but that can change. <laughs> so 7561 is a potential resistance. Uh, we've got a bullish crossover in the MACD. Other technicals are relatively neutral. So looking at the UK 100, not quite such a great picture. Uh, Interestingly, you've got a low, a higher low, a higher low, a high, a lower high, and lower high. So probably a symmetrical uh, triangle formation developing here, which uh, if I go to my drawing tools on here, let's just see how ugly that might look. Uh, it's not going to, it's not going to meet for quite some time, but that maybe gives you a bit of an idea of what we could be playing with. Actually, it's kind of interesting. So, um, could be the bottom of this this level right here. Could be support, potential resistance. Trading below both moving averages. Technicals relatively neutral. You've got a negative cross on the MACD right there. And I guess the problem you've got with UK100 is it's so mining and oil and gas heavy, uh, and commodities are just not really feeling the love right now. If I'm completely honest, you got. West Texas crude just below $42 right now, and uh, copper down, languishing at multi-year lows as well. So that's probably not going to help. So moving on to Japan 25, uh, there's noticing that Euro sterling is actually dumping a bit, but uh, dollar yen, 124.50, back of a potential uh, resistance. Um, we are probably quite firmly in a range right here. You can see that 20,087 20, being potential support, 20,868 being potential resistance. We're just above both, both the moving averages right now. Um, and you're probably going to be looking at dollar yen, which is flattening off a bit more as well. I really hope we don't get into the same um, aspect as uh, cable, where we're just oscillating around 156 for a long period of time. But it looks to be 124.42 as a, as a level that I quite like. So other technicals are flattening out. Longer term potential resistance 126. Um, but people are buying the yen as a safe haven, and we really want to figure out: are, is a dollar going to be the place to put your to put some of your cash in there? If we're going to be raising rates, um, maybe a dollar yen is going to peak in the short term. We actually had some quite bad data come out of Japan uh, over the weekend. Um, and then I heard again that monetary stimulus in Japan is not, not out of the question. Um, so that would surely be, devaluate, uh, be devaluing the Japanese yen and pushing Japan uh, to be five up, but you're not seeing a huge reaction there. So then moving on to West Texas, crude, um, as you can see there, doji formation Friday, lower again this morning towards the bottom of its range, longer term potential support is at $35, and that's obviously a big, big level, but that was from the end of uh, 2008 at the height of the credit crunch, uh, and you know, $42 is the potential support. So that's where a lot of people will be looking right now. Crude oil is very cheap at 42 but remember it can go to 35 So here we are with gold. Um, not really sure what it's doing because nobody can decide if, uh, Feb if September will be that rate hike or not. Uh, so we had a, a kind of a, a doji formation there on Friday. We're up uh, slightly higher this morning off the session highs. Actually, looking at the end of the chart, slight spike uh, first thing in the morning, only to drift down later on. Longer term potential resistance at 1137. So finishing up with euro, uh, with dollar, euro dollar and GBP USD. So we have seen quite a strong sell off 
uh, and, well, not strong sell-off, but your dollar's not going to come off this morning, but I'm looking at euro sterling, and it's dropping off as well. So there seems to be a little bit of, uh, of euro selling at the moment, probably something to do with Greece, um, the amount of funds necessary to, uh, to, to to prop up that country as well. But we're at the bottom of the range today, negative day there on Friday, bottom of the range is now and still dropping as we speak. Um, one spot 11 is a potential support level, but we are below that, which also is below the 55 period SMA. Uh, next potential support might come at that 21 period SMA, around about one spot, let's just see, one spot 10. Uh, we're only about 64 points away from there right now. Uh, and not a huge amount of economic data due out today either. I'm finishing up with GBP USD, so Sterling getting an extra shot in the arm. Um, a Bank of England uh, member came out the weekend, I think in the Telegraph, with an article about the fact that they had to raise rates sooner rather than later um, because low rates for this long is dangerous. Um, so some people have been pricing in that we might see a rate hike in January, February, and Kearney had a meeting uh, statement just not that long ago where it seemed to be pretty obvious that they weren't going to raise rates anytime soon and then it's very strange to then go into the Telegraph and see an article from one of the Fed members saying oh no it might be this year um, so really a lot of mixed signals coming out of uh, the Fed out of the Bank of England uh, I don't think anybody really knows what they're doing in regards to uh, as and when they're going to raise rates they'll know when they know and there's not any uh, there's not too much forward guidance that they can give that's really accurate because people just keep changing their well traders and uh, commentators they flip-flop depending on how the macro data comes out and certainly um, cable now is breaking above one spot 56 and looking at one spot 57.43 so tomorrow a whole bunch of UK data if you are interested in trading cable you've got CPI and PPI and then RPI all at 9.30 tomorrow so that's actually a lot of big inflation related data uh, which could be a big driver for uh, debates about UK interest rates and um, then on Wednesday, uh, just not a huge amount actually happening in general, but you do have crude oil inventories on Wednesday, and then Thursday, not a lot. God, there's just not really that much excitement happening. Even on Friday, very, very little economic data. Um, looks to be tomorrow is going to be the best one if you're trading cable or the UK 100. So as ever, guys, make sure you got a chart form here. Lots of cool analysis here. I can see that Michael Houston has already started to post some of his analysis on there, so get a chance to see that, and you can copy it directly from here. Make insights part of the day going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Yeah.